1019 RXP, time for our very favorite section of the morning called Local Licks. Ben, I really love ours. I remember hearing you guys, uh, was it 2000, 2001 when your yeah, first CD yeah. came out? 2001. Jimmy's in the studio uh, along with Static. Where'd you guys grow up? We grew up um, mostly in Bergen County, uh, which is in New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Um, I grew up in a town called Ridgefield Park, and, um, but mainly spent most of our time playing around the city. So that's why we kind of consider ourselves a New York band. We kind of cut our teeth in the New York club scene. So. Jimmy's got a great uh, singing voice, but his speaking voice is very nice, too. I'm going to be looking for a job. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I can hear you <laughs> on the radio like, it's uh, 3 a.m. It's 1019 RXP. <laughs> Do some voiceovers for us. Would you a little moonlighting, Jimmy? I, I would love that. I think you have a great voice. Now, uh, one of the things I just read here is that Rick Rubin produced your new record. Yes. How'd you hook up with Rubin? Um, old friends with him, going back, I guess, to around 1997. We... We became close friends. He would come over at my parents' house when we would rehearse and just lie on the floor and listen to us for hours. So we've, we've been friends for a while and we've been trying to do it. So luckily on this one, we were able to work that out. He likes to sit on the floor a lot. I remember I was lucky enough to meet him one time and our meeting was actually sitting on the floor listening mm -hmm. to music. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. And when you're sitting there talking to, uh, you know, someone of the caliber of Rick Rubin, who's produced everybody, right, from the Beasties to Metallica, his Blackberry is like going off, and, oh, yeah. and you see like he's got a text from, oh, that was Flea from the Chili Peppers, oh, that was, you know, yeah. somebody. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a Rolodex like Matt Pinfield's, basically. Yeah. Very strange, very strange. Um, some of the times I spent at his house, surreal, just sitting in a room looking around at the cast of characters he has around. Fun stuff, but it's just, you know, everyone from Gallows in that corner, the guys from Mars Volta over there, John Frusciante is doing yoga behind <laughs> me. There's it's a crazy. Big, there's a big, like, stuffed bear <laughs> standing behind me, this menacing kind of, yeah, unusual yeah, the, stuff. Your third record came out, uh, what, two weeks ago? As, you know what? A year and two weeks ago. It's called Mercy. Yes. Uh, I remember listening to some stuff on MySpace. What song did you want to do this morning? I will probably do uh, The Worst Things Beautiful. And then we'll come back and talk about Road Recovery, because yeah. you're part of Road Recovery Friday night yeah. at the Nokia Theater, and I know you have another show after that, uh, another hour's show. So it's uh, Jimmy and Static. Hey, Static, how are you? Good. Good to see you, too. And they are live now, part of Local Licks on 1019 RXP.
1019 RXP and the band Hours from New York City. You know, that was just flawless. Can I just say that? That was amazing. Thank you. I was just sitting here looking. I had goosebumps. Matt Ioni had goosebumps. Jimmy, you have an amazing voice. Thank you. It's Appreciate just that. amazing. Static, thank you so much. That sounded great. Thank you. Now, Rogue Recovery, uh, Friday night at the Nokia Theater. We're involved. Matt Pinfield and I will be there. And obviously, Wayne Kramer. It's honoring Wayne Kramer. Tom Morello will be there, Perry Farrell, a lot of great artists. You guys are playing as well. Yes, yes. Are you going to jam with everyone, or are you just going to get up and I, do a couple of songs? I think so. I think we're going to do two songs and then try to work out some other things where we all play together. So I'm going to try to redeem myself from last year. <laughs> I was sick last year when we did it, and they were ask, they kept like, calling my name out to come up and sing, and I was hiding. <laughs> so and what are you going to do? You're sick and... You know, when things like that happen organically and there's a jam session, sometimes just magical things happen. So I hope, hopefully that will happen Friday night. What's yeah. new for the band? Are you guys going back in the studio later this year? We are. I'm doing an acoustic record right now, which I've been kind of putting off for many years. A lot of people have asked me to do that, so I'm finally doing that. And then the band is going to start to record maybe around uh, December of, of this year, maybe January of next year. We'll start with the band. Are you going to just drop into anonymously some coffee houses and try out some of the songs? Yes, yes. I love when artists that. do that. You just never know where you may pop up, right? Yeah, I, I love to do that. I really do. I love just, um, you know, ten people there eating yeah. apple, apple pie and coffee. And just <laughs> See, it's something to be said if you can go in and, and win those people over without anybody knowing who you are, any backstory, you know what I mean? I'd love so, to have you come and try some of the songs on the show. Would you I, do that? I'd love that. Perfect. Yes. We'll see you then on Friday night. Okay, Thank great. you. Jimmy and Static from the band Hours Road Recoveries this Friday night. We'll come back in a few minutes and talk to our friends from the Village Voice about the Siren Festival.